Today we're looking at two of the most hotly debated topics in the canine world, cropping ears and docking tails. Stick around and we'll find out how common the practices are for the German Shepherd today and what the procedures, functions were in the original working roles. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the German Shepherd. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect German Shepherd. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new German Shepherd, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe so that you never miss another German Shepherd video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll go over everything you need to know about cropping and docking when it comes to the German Shepherd. First off, I want to say that cropping and docking is a controversial procedure that typically only applies to working canines. Both procedures are generally banned practices in the UK in most situations, but they are still common in other countries. The goal of this video isn't to condone or condemn the practices, just to give you an idea of the reasons why owners of this breed may have had the procedures done. Historically, cropping ears and docking tails were done for canines who would otherwise have their ears or tails injured during the course of their daily work. Some people believe that cropping ears improves dogs' hearing and helps to prevent infections. Terriers, for example, had their ears cropped to prevent injury from bites as they cornered rats and other vermin. Great Danes were both cropped and docked in their ancestral boar hunting days to prevent their ears from being injured and their tails docked to keep them from breaking as they crashed through the brush after the quarry. Herding canines that worked around heavy livestock like cattle or horses had their tails docked to prevent the animals from stepping on their tails which would have caused intense pain and potentially gotten the canine killed. Burrowing terriers had their tails docked to allow their owners to pull them out of holes without breaking the thinner half of their tails in the process. The safety of working today's canines is one of the few exceptions to the ban of cropping and docking in the UK, and is still only done when very specific conditions are met. Today, many canines don't fill the same roles they used to, so cropping and docking in those cases are for competition breed standards or appearances. There's a strong trend towards leaving the natural features of a canine unaltered through cropping or docking if they aren't a true working canine. That being said, you'll still find many breeds cropped and docked in the US and other nations that don't have an outright ban on the procedures for non-working canines. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here so there'll be a link in the description box below I can't wait to see you over on that channel. German Shepherds are incredibly popular around the world especially across Europe and the US for their loving nature and supreme guarding instincts. The Kennel Club and American Kennel Club both specifically say that cropping and docking aren't allowed. The naturally erect ears of the German Shepherd mean that they've never been subject to cropping and their ancestral job at herding light livestock generally kept their them from being docked as well. Ear cropping is rarely necessary in our modern world, even for working canines. There are several breeds that have naturally erect ears, like the German Shepherd, and if that alert appearance is important to you, consider breeds that have already have standing ears. Cropping is typically only seen on guardian type breeds today, since it's now a cosmetic procedure that's slowly but surely falling out of fashion. It's a hotly debated topic on specific forums since many argue that it doesn't affect the general health and appearance of the canine and they're able to go about their life normally after they've healed. Some canines have tails that are quite strong along the whole length, like the Labrador Retriever, and are left unaltered because they aren't at risk from being stepped on or injured as they run through the fields and brush. Others, like the Cocker Spaniel, has a weaker tail with long fine hair that's easily caught on branches or injured if they wag the tail too close to a solid surface. Australian Shepherds once had their tails docked since they worked with heavy livestock, but they've been selectively bred to frequently be born with bobtails now which are naturally docked. Similar breeds like Border Collies who worked with lighter livestock like sheep didn't need to worry about their tails near as much as the breed was rarely altered. Today, cropping and docking are mostly done to keep the historical appearance of the canine for breed competition or for looks. 
True working canines do benefit from having the procedures done, but they're also being bred to have standing ears and short tails occur naturally. On canines like the German Shepherd, then the Great Dane, the Doberman, they have a more fierce and alert appearance when cropped and docked, but it's no longer needed for their safety in modern roles. There's nothing wrong with leaving them floppy-eared and long-tailed, and it doesn't negatively impact their ability to love and protect your family. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated German Shepherd videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir German Shepherd Show.